Hello and welcome back to the Household of Faith Daily Devotionals for Wednesday, June the 12th, 2019, where this week's topic is weapons of warfare. Our keynote verse of scripture comes from 2 Corinthians 10, verses 3 through 5, and today we're going to be reading from the Tree of Life versions. And it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not wage war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not fleshly, but powerful through God for the tearing down of strongholds. We are tearing down false arguments in every high-minded thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We're taking every thought captive to the obedience of Messiah. All right, now there's a couple of footnotes that uh, the Tree of Life version has. And uh, they reference uh, Isaiah 25 and 11 and Jeremiah 51, 53. Also Isaiah 2, 11 through 12 and verse 17. Um, I'm sorry, the first reference for Isaiah 25, 11 and Jeremiah 51, 53 is for 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. And then the next reference is for verse 5, Isaiah 2, 11 through 12 and verse 17. It's always good to know when Paul is quoting, a lot of times he is, um, when he's speaking, he is actually quoting scripture because you have to remember that Paul is a Pharisee. So, and part of their responsibility was to memorize the Torah and to be able to teach the people because they are the ones that taught the people. They're the ones who read the, and, uh, the scriptures uh, in the synagogues and so forth. You had to be one of the ruling, which is Sadducee or Pharisee. You hear more about the Pharisees than you do the Sadducees. But um, that's the things that we need to know is then the first one is to turn down the strongholds. And strongholds come in all shape, forms, and fashion. They're all uh, uh, spiritual. They're all demonic activity. Some strongholds are just in your mind. It's like people have ideas and things in their mind is because wherever it came from but i'm not going to get into right now where it started but wherever it came from is something that they can't get past and it's something that is so ingrained in them and it's not a natural or habit it's not a behavioral issue it's a spiritual issue and it has to be addressed as such when the bible speaks about strongholds it's talking about demonic activity and that's one of the things that we always want to know and um, in the next verse when it says in every high mighty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God you know people can speak against the Word of God and block others understanding of it but it all starts with the spirit it all starts with the spirit um, human intellect interferes a lot but where did they get that thought from first of all before they even got started in it and I wanted, I wanted to stress that because knowing what your weapons are, you have to know what they are before you can use them properly. And like I said, we're not talking about the armor of God. This doesn't have anything to do with the armor of God. Paul is not speaking specifically about the armor. He's talking about things in your life that you have to deal with and to overcome yourself and then you can help someone else. It's talking about people who know and then they do and then they help others to get to that same place and this is what jesus has done for us because he already won the victory completely over satan and we as his followers need to keep fighting and we need to maintain that victory that he has won for us we have already been assured we know that when it's all said and done we're on the winning team that's not enough to just know that because you have to actively get out and fight to hold on to the victory that you have and that is something that we tend to uh, lose sight of especially in the heat of the battle you know that you already won it and there's no reason to sit down and cry and stop and think that you know you're just not going to make it through this because God has guaranteed us that he would never leave us or forsake us so it's more important how you live um, because people are watching you you know the people in your family your household members people in your job you know we shared 
you know, again and again on the importance of your lifestyle and the impact that it has on the people that you encounter, even on a casual basis, you know. Um, when the things of God are not first in your life, you're not a good witness. You're not. You're just not a good witness for the kingdom. And when you're often stressed or depressed, um, how effective can you possibly be for the kingdom? You cannot be effective in a skirmish with the enemy. You need to know the power of your words. And we've talked about that over and over and over again. And we're going to keep talking about it. Honestly, I'm not ever going to get tired of saying that because I have to remind myself. I have to remind myself that I have to keep my thoughts under control. I had a conversation yesterday with someone, and I confessed that, yeah, you know, some, you know, I, I have to check myself because of some of the things that I'm, you know, that I'm thinking about. I look and I see and I, I think, and as I look, I no, no, no. I need to bring myself back to Philippians 4 and 6 when he says, think on these things. What are those things that he's talking about? Good, pleasant, loving, peaceful, kind, generous, all of that. You know, I'm not thinking on that when I'm thinking about how someone's getting on my nerves. So, um, for yourself, you have to maintain that victory once you achieve it and then you have to show others how that they can overcome it as well all right well thanks for joining us today now tomorrow we're going to be talking about what happens beyond the armor okay see you then